tonight we are going to talk about the W.T. Steed scandal with the Eliza Armstrong case. Okay, W.T. Steed. W.T. Steed. Well, he was based out of England. He was notorious in the late 1800s. He was kind of the first tabloid, quote-unquote tabloid journalist of his time. Um, he liked digging up really big, juicy stories. And he had this friend, Benjamin Scott, who one day, like, you know, knew that he liked to dig up juicy stories and was like, dude, dude, I have a story for you. There are, there are little girls being sexually exploited, like, throughout England. Like, that's a norm. Like, like pizza delivery, it's like, no, sexually exploited girls. That's a thing going on right now. And he's just like, what? Like, what? Like, how is this, how is this working? And, or how is this going on? And then he's like, you know what? I, I'm feeling inspired. Like I, this this sounds like this sounds like the next case. I am going to investigate it. All right. So he gets really inspired and starts the Special and Secret Committee of Inquiry, otherwise known as the SSCI. Sounds pretty pretty cool. I have to pee really quick so you think about it. Okay. So they set out on this 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 mission of theirs, and W. T. Steed and his group are, you know, looking around, trying to find evidence of this whole case that they brought up, and they're kind of both like, we can't find anything. And then they have this 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 person who is like, you know what? I may have jackpot. I may have jackpot. I found a girl. Her name is Eliza Armstrong. She's a 13-year-old girl. She has an alcoholic mother, which is the plus, I suppose. And we can buy her for as much as a taco. And for the viewers who don't know how much a taco is in Europe, it's five euros. Five euros for one taco. I know, it's a bit of a stretch, but at the time, that was a really good taco. So they get, so they're like, all right, you know what? Before it's legit, we have to make sure she's a virgin because otherwise she won't be like Mary, you know, the Holy Mary. She has to be a virgin. So they are like, we, we need to find a test. How do we find this test? And they find this midwife who just can be able to tell if a girl is a virgin and they go to her and she comes out of the room and they're like kind of waiting, like what are the results? What are the results? Nervous. And then they say, and then she's like, thumbs up, she's a virgin. And they're like, yes. And then they, <laughs> and then they drug her. They drug her with chloroform. They do the, the whole rug thing on her mouth. And, you know, she's drugged. She passes out, obviously, from the chloroform. And then she's just like, she just comes to in a room, and W.T. Steed's in the room, and, and, and she goes, ah! Or what? Or like, oh, I'm scared. And then he's like, this is all I need. This is all I need because everybody outside the room, apparently that's what sex sounded like back in like the late 1800s in England. It was like, ow, I'm scared. Please get off of me. And they're like, yep, he's doing the deed. So he's like, this is all the evidence I need. So Steve publishes the evidence, right? He gets it out there, and everybody that he's pissed off, like the politicians, everybody, they're like, nah, man, you did the dirty deed, you're going to jail. And they try to convict him, and they end up doing so. He goes to court, and the judge, you know, lays down his mallet and is like, Kong, you have been sentenced to three years in prison because you tried to have intercourse with a 13-year-old woman, you bitch. And then he goes to prison for three years. Three months. Three months! Only three months. But it felt like three years. All right, and then how did he die? Oh my God, he died in the Titanic. He was on the Titanic and he died before any of his work could get published. That's not true. Oh, fuck. Wow. He died in the Titanic. Yeah.